Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2003 guys. Okay, so the question is the usual big O of n square. I think it should be n square. Okay, so the usual big O of n square or theta of n square. It is theta of n square, right? Yes. So theta of n square implementation of insertion sort to sort an array using a linear search to identify the position where a element is to be in its necessary location into already sorted part of the array. Okay, so if instead of using a binary search, instead if we use a binary search to identify the position, the worst case complexity will run up to. Okay, so here if you recall how exactly insertion sort will work guys. So let us try to recall. Okay, so in the first case, you will assume that the first element is sorted, right? Okay, so in the second case, you will take the second element, okay, second uh, element and you will place it in its own position, right? Yes. So now after that, the two elements will be sorted. So in this way, you are going to sort them, right? But while we are searching for the element, so if you, few of you might be saying that we did not listen your insertion sort lecture, please at least give us some knowledge, right? Yes. So let me give you what's there in that, right? Yes. So initially, let us assume our array is 8, 9, 3, 2, 1. So I took a small array, guys, because I don't want to make things complex. Okay, yes. So now if I want to run insertion sort on this, so the first step what I do is I will assume 9, 8 as already sorted. I will assume this as a sorted array and this array as unsorted, guys. So sorted array, unsorted array. Okay, so once I have done this, I will take this 9 and I will start comparing with the before value and I will place this value at that approximate location. So here it will be 8 and 9 and this will be the sorted location, right? Yes. Similarly, now I will take 3 and I will place in its own location. So indirectly, I 3 should be the least value, right? So 3 will come first, then 8, then 9. So now everything is sorted, 2, 1. So basically how exactly I know the location is, I will compare 9 with 3 guys. So is 3 less than 9? Yes. So I will write 9 here and I will keep 9 there only. Okay. Again, I will compare 8 with 3. So is 3 less than 8? Yes. So I will swap it with here. And is there any element before it? No. So I will write 3 here. So in this way, the swapping will be done. So here, how I am checking guys, I am checking linearly element by element, right? Yes. So what if they are saying, if I, instead of this, if I use a binary search, so what exactly binary search does? So if this is the array, if it is completely sorted, remember only on sorted arrays, you can apply binary search guys. Okay. So what we do in binary search is we divide the list into two parts and you will take the first element guys, observe. So you will find the center element and you will compare your element that is X with this value. So if our x is less than this value, means indirectly our x is on the left side. If it is greater, if it is on the right side. So basically you are going to divide the list into two parts. So with the help of this, you can reduce the, co the cost of searching from n to log n because you are going to divide exactly half, right? Yes. So with this understanding, you can say that previously it was n into n and once you updated this to log n, it becomes a n log n, right? So the updated cost. So if you are modifying the insertion sort to work with the binary search, it will be n log n, guys. So C will be the answer. It's a quite simple question. But the only thing is you should have a clear conceptual idea like how exactly insertion sort will work and how exactly binary search will work. Got it? Yes. So it's a quite simple question. Okay. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.